CEO of the Kenya Film Classification Board to come and talk about his journey from way back when. I saw some pictures of him at Kenyatta University. And the gentleman then and the man now, totally different people and will of course bridge that gap right here. Daktari, <laughs> Karibu sana. Thank you very much. Welcome to the show. Thank you for inviting me. Uh, what is the weekend up to, by the way? Because I usually see every time uh, the weekend for some people might be yes. leisure. For you, no, they're usually always working on, weekends. Always on the move. Uh -huh. We were in Kisumu. Mm -hmm. We had uh, missions in Bundalangi, mm -hmm. Mumula. Mm -hmm. You know, so I just came back last uh, after, uh, yesterday afternoon. Right. So that I can make it for your program. Okay, fantastic. And so then I'm leaving back. for Mombasa now. Today, uh, yes, going yes, to Mombasa. Yes. <laughs> Seems like a pretty busy job, this one. Well, it is, it uh -huh. is. I mean, we, uh, we, are, we are a national body. Mm -hmm. We are Kenya Film Classification Board. Right. That, that, that's a national mandate. Mm -hmm. And we have regional offices across the country. Mm -hmm. uh, the work that we do of regulating film and broadcast content mm -hmm. is a national function. Right. Licensing filmmakers, uh, ensuring that all the video dance that are showing films mm -hmm. uh, are showing rated films. To do that, you need to be everywhere. Right. Uh, and because we don't have the capacity uh, to have a lot of staff mm -hmm. on the ground, right. so we tend to go to the field a lot right. so that we inspire the others, so that the, 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 the same uh, stamina and, 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 uh -huh. and uh, uh, hype that is in Nairobi mm -hmm. can also be on the grassroots. Because right. this, the, the issue of uh, morals eh, and what films do to shape the morals of ch young children, it, it's an important issue. Right. And there's a nexus between our work of regulating films, what kids consume and or what people consume, and national development. Right. So to impact national development, then you've got to be everywhere, mm -hmm. even the remotest parts of Kenya. And like so the, we travel a lot. Because uh, as you say, in terms of you know, making sure that the morals are moving in the right direction, yes. some people have even branded you the moral police. Because any time you make a statement, they're like, oh, Motua is at it again. Yeah. <sighs> Jeff, I tell you the the job truth, that we need more moral police. Uh, uh, police so you're unapologetic about that? No, 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 no. Why uh -huh. would it, we need more? Mm -hmm. In fact, I, I would request you, I would want to convert you today to be a moral, also to be a moral champion. Mm -hmm. Talk about these issues. It matters. What people consume matters. Mm -hmm. What our young children are consuming matters. Mm -hmm. And when moral, the moral fabric of the nation is destroyed, right. there is nothing else remaining. Mm -hmm. I, I, I can tell you everything else does not work. Right. Uh, it becomes, crime increases, the country becomes difficult to govern. Uh, values like hard work, uh, values like perseverance, values like honesty, mm -hmm. they, they are thrown to the wind. Right. So the best thing that you can do in building a country is to set the right moral foundation. Mm -hmm. And the ideological uh, push or persuasion, the mind, since time immemorial, the battle has been the battle of the mind. Even right. at the Garden of, uh, the, of, of Eden, right. it was the battle of the mind. Mm -hmm. And so people poisoned the minds of others, or particularly the young children. And then they, 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 that's how crime is introduced. That's how bad behavior is introduced. Right. That's how uh, minds become lazy or become poisoned or radicalized or uh, pushed to think in a certain way. Right. And uh, nations that developed Jeff, including the Asian Tigers, who are the same at par with us during ind independence, they started by setting the right moral foundation. The founding fathers of those countries set themselves. You know, if you talk about Singapore, Malaysia, if you talk about uh, South Korea, those countries, the first thing they did to develop was to work on their moral uh, values and their moral foundation. Mm -hmm. Lay a foundation of honesty, people to know that honesty pays, that if you work hard and you love people and you eat from the sweat of your brow, you should be respected in society. So once you do that and you push films and broadcast content that speaks about those values, that uh, projects honesty as success, if you're honest, you're successful. Right. But now when we come to Kenya and to, to our region and Africa in particular, we glorify evil in our broadcast. You look at TV stations, item number one to the last item, almost 90% almost of the content is mm -hmm. negative. Look at the music right now. The craze is to sing dirty, obscene, vulgar stuff. And uh, people make it look like that's what he's selling, that's what mm -hmm. is cool. So unless we champion that and we speak about it, the moral policing concept in our, in, in our country is about speaking against those voice, uh, forces that are pushing our young people to think that honest doesn't matter. But Dr. Ray, let me jump in there as well. As you talk about, uh, you know, when it comes to music or the yes. arts or film, some people say that 
this is creative expression. Yes. It might not necessarily be um, uh, of good light, but yes. this is, uh, they usually say art is reflection of what's going on in society. society. Yes, yes. So what these young people are singing, like there's a song that you said uh, should not no, be seen outside of bars. Yes, it's watershed. Because we are not in a bar. Thank you. Isn't uh, and it? It's watershed. Uh, and yes. it's watershed. Yeah, yes. Um, should not be uh, played or, you know, heard in certain places. Yes. And some people are saying, um, what's Daktari doing in terms of encouraging these particular artists and mm. like those instead of banning this stuff that has clearly caught on? When you look at the views on YouTube, mm. you can see, uh, and they say numbers don't lie. Where, where uh, no, 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 no. It, it, it means nothing. Mm -hmm. Even if it had uh, 50 million views, mm -hmm. it means nothing. Right. What I want to know is how much money have they have made out mm -hmm. of that stuff. Right. If you can't sing that stuff before your mother, mm -hmm. you can't shout those words before your mother, mm -hmm. I can tell you it means nothing. Mm -hmm. If you can't shout it in a church, if you can't shout it before the president or in a, in a national function, that is just temporary craze based on obscenity and it will die. Mm -hmm. Taka Taka died and others died. Right. Uh, there is no money in dirty content. Mm -hmm. It may look like it's popular, it's the cool thing, but it will not last. Mm -hmm. If you look at songs like uh, Unbogabo, there are tunes of Kenandaud Kabaka of the 70s. Uh, there, there, there is music of Yo that we adore even today and we right. listen to. That content looks cool, looks sensational, but that's a, that's a narrative that I'm saying we must change right. because they're ideological to make it look like dirty and mm -hmm. bad things are what sells. Mm -hmm. uh, how I wish that creativity could be turned into something positive mm -hmm. because if it, is, if it was something that we could sing, the, 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 the man in the street could sing, the parents could sing with their children. Uh, I think I would, I would really embrace it and encourage them. Right. But you see, they are doing it to create controversy and become famous through controversy. Mm -hmm. and let me tell you, Jeff, uh, for musicians and our artists in general, they need to know that the content that makes money anywhere in the world mm -hmm. is family-oriented, family-suitable content. Right. Something we can watch all of us. Right. Even the work of classification globally uh, tends to promote content that is family suitable. Mm -hmm. Because if you are able to watch as a family, then it means there's more market. Right. And there's a nexus between classification and marketability of uh, the music. And so it has caught fire uh -huh. and it, it looks very popular now, but I can tell you it's not translating to money. But how, sure what are we doing to encourage them. these artists? We, because we, they are we saying, are doing a lot. When yes. we are trying to hustle, Hatunangi mm -hmm. Daktari, mm -hmm. Ngoma Yetu Kiskika, Dr. Mutua is coming to say it shouldn't be played. So how do we reverse no, the narrative, what, my, so to speak? I, I, we do promote a lot, but let me correct that narrative because mm -hmm. I'm not apologetic about it as well. Mm -hmm. Our work is classification. We are a regulator. We are a, a classification board. We are like the traffic police on the mm -hmm. road. It's not our work to help you buy cars. It's mm -hmm. not our work to help you, uh, you know, drive the flashy ones. Or, you know, mm -hmm. that's not our work. Our work is to look at the people on the road mm -hmm. and manage the movement of the vehicles on the road. Mm -hmm. The road of the industry, the film industry. Right. But we still say, let's make awareness. Mm -hmm. Let people know that you can make money through clean content. Mm -hmm. and like now we are very committed in selling the concept of clean content. We are encouraging our youths to know that uh, if they make clean content, we are able to support them. And if you look at what we did with Google, mm -hmm. we are working on a partnership to award uh, young uh, creatives on YouTube mm -hmm. who reach uh, 1 million subscribers on YouTube. We give them 1 million uh, Kenya shillings. That's a right. lot of money. Right. They reach 10 million, we <coughs> give them 10 million. Right. And what we are saying is we will have a jury comprised of people like you in the media, mm -hmm. uh, people who are, who are online. We are thinking of working with the bakers, the, 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 bakes, uh, the, the bloggers association mm -hmm. of Kenya mm -hmm. and others, so that we set up a jury that is not controlled, but we will say there are standards. And it's about pushing clean content. Right. So if you reach like Disago did, Henry mm -hmm. Disago, you saw right. the, the guy we awarded. Mm -hmm. If you reach 100,000 uh, subscribers, uh, you get a certificate and some little money. Right. But we are aiming at the big money, which is right. from 1 million right. to 10 million. Okay. And that will help because we want to also to mentor them and support them to, to use that capital mm -hmm. to start business. Right. So you can imagine if you got 10 million, even those guys who are singing those dirty songs, mm -hmm. if they could now turn it into something positive and you put it on YouTube because technology is the way to go. Mm -hmm. It is an enabler. So if you put it on YouTube, uh, we are able to, you are able to share the global market. Right. That's number one. Number two, we are doing Cinema Machinani. Cinema Machinani is films for the people by the people, from the grassroots. Done in vernacular, the model of View Sasa. Mm -hmm. uh, we are working with uh, Nollywood right now. I was in Nollywood uh, last week in Nigeria. 
and we are, we are bringing in companies from uh, Nollywood that are going to work with our artists here mm -hmm. to do co-production. Right. We want young people to be able uh, to, to pick the concept of Nollywood and embrace our culture and our values, celebrate mm -hmm. our stories. And through that, we award them, we support them, we support them to do co-production. I am very happy for a company called Envivo uh, mm -hmm. from Lagos that is supporting actually uh, Machakos first. Mm -hmm. We picked Machakos because of the infrastructure that Governor Alfred Mutu has put in place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And working with Victor <coughs> Muniafu, who is the director of uh, uh, culture and the creative art in Machakos, you know there is Machakos People's Park, mm -hmm. and they are very structured, they have a lot of programs. So we called Victor from uh, Lagos and uh, connected him with the uh, leadership and the, the CEO of Envivo and they have already committed millions mm -hmm. you know to support Machakos uh, first so we are telling people write scripts submit them to Machakos first and uh, we, there will be money we're okay. putting about five million for the winner right That's so there is work going on on the grounds to make sure that a lot of work every day and you know Jeff we we picked uh, <clears throat> we, we, we refurbished mm -hmm. Nairobi Film Center Nairobi right. Cinema, mm -hmm. you know, for right. young people to be able to come there and showcase their talent. Right. We are supporting them. We are supporting okay. the Kenya National Drama and Film Festival. Uh, last year, we were the main uh, partners. <clears throat> and, uh, and from the ECD to the university, we, 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 we came up with wonderful mm -hmm. items. Whether you're talking about spoken word, mm -hmm. drama, art, uh, uh, film, uh, music. And, and it, but the items that went to the national, we mm -hmm. are picking the top five mm -hmm. and turning them into commercially viable films. So every day we are somewhere doing something okay. with this organization or the other. And I want, you, because it's only when we ban, when people think, right. you know, they talk about us. Uh, there's so much uh, that is going it's on. Happening. It's like in this country, Jeff. You know, there's so much going on, even in the government. Mm -hmm. Not every government official is corrupt, but people think Kenya is about corruption. There's so much work going on in the government. We encourage our creatives to know this, and this is very important. Very Jeff. quickly. We are not at war with the creatives. Mm -hmm. We are here for you. We, don't, we wouldn't exist if there was no uh, creative industry. Okay. We exist because they are media houses mm -hmm. and they are creatives in this country. We are not out to stifle creativity. You mentioned that. Right. And it's a very important point. For them to know, while you, ex you use your creative expression and your talent and the creative license, you need to do it within the confines of the law and within certain moral uh, 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 bounds so that you don't just create content for... The you saw the boy. The boy yes, was we saw. saying very dirty. You know, that's a dot, really. That boy okay, has an issue. And okay, there are so many of that kind. And I know, and so, you know, with the passion that you speak about all of this, this, I this see, moral I decay. See. We also need to switch gears because yes. we've seen what the board is doing and what the CEO is doing yes. as the board. Yes. But let's demystify the man who holds that seat. Yes. Dr. Mutua. Mm -hmm. We have very many pictures uh, that we're fortunate to get of you through they the were ages by and my, evolution. My son. <laughs> <laughs> a very I good selection. A very so good selection. Just, right just go and look for the old albums. Okay, here we are. This one's a reason. This is modern one. Okay, Should have this, brought the, 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 eh? And we have them. They'll be coming up uh, as well because we have <laughs> pictures of you in university, of course, as you're graduating. Yes, yes. As you can see here, join, uh, enjoying uh, light moments in the house. <laughs> These ones you selected from Facebook. <laughs> These are not ours. And <laughs> even as you look at this, <laughs> it's because most people think that as you know, authoritarian as you are and you passionately stand your positions <laughs> at home, <laughs> do you change when you walk into the house? You're a different, you know, Dr. Mutu in the house. And at, when you're at here... At home, nobody uh. cares about me being a CEO. <laughs> nobody wants to know that. They don't care. And uh -huh. the, 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 I will be held to account if uh -huh. I brought that there. And I can yeah. see clearly uh, there was a birthday going on here, if I'm not this wrong. This is when my son turned 18. Uh -huh. And this was very special uh -huh. because I had a talk with him and I told him, look, mm. what has happened? You have now become an adult. Right. You are your own, on your mm -hmm. own. Uh -huh. We'll pray for you. We'll counsel you. We'll uh, help you. Mm -hmm. We'll love you and they support you, but you are now, re you have reached the age of mm. making decisions for yourself. But you told the same thing by this. These uh, are my parents. Uh, I'm so blessed. She's 98. He's 102. Wow. He's going to 102. Uh, these are my parents. Did he uh, tell you the same thing when you turned 18? That you're on your own? End of Jipange Kijana? My, my mom did. My, my dad was... <laughs> my, dad, my dad was their cook danger of the My dad was, was lethal. So we didn't have a lot of time. We didn't right. have the privileges that my children have. Mm -hmm. When I was growing up, uh, there, there wasn't much because we were many. Mm -hmm. And uh, my father was polygamous. So we didn't right. have a lot of interaction uh -huh. with the parents. Uh -huh. We loved the... We, and we enjoyed the few moments that we had. Mm -hmm. But uh, because of him being polygamous and right. us being so many... Uh, we didn't have that. Wasn't uh, enough quality that time. Touch, uh -huh. which is what now we try to work hard. You know, right. you know, Jeff. If you are brought up in that kind of uh, 
uh, abject poverty, mm -hmm. your kids don't have to go through. Right. It's important to give them these stories. Mm -hmm. And uh, I am very happy that it's my son was selecting. Right. You have not shown the ones he selected. Now, I actually want yeah. to see some of the photos the uh, we have of Daktari. As a young man, you know, yes, those are the ones yes, yes. I saw. And, and, and even and I was shocked. And and I was you can have them up on screen. No, you can't send this to the TV. Then he told me you can't deny your past. Yes. And I was very happy because... The, our children need to know our stories, where mm -hmm. we came from. Mm -hmm. We did not just happen to be successful. Right. They need to know that we struggled so that when they are faced with the challenges, mm -hmm. they are able to endure. And we give them hope, by the way. Mentorship is very important. Right. And mentorship is not just about telling them. It's also, you know, mm -hmm. seeing. So we'll be showing them. them. Yeah. I will yeah. have some pictures of you Absolutely. in university coming up. Yeah. When you were in university, yeah. were you thinking that um, you want to go into government? What was the idea when you were a first-year student? I was, I was a leader from the day I got into primary school. Uh -huh. You know, I was the head boy of my school, Ikumin mm -hmm. Primary. Uh, I was the uh, school prefect, uh, prefect in Mwala uh, Secondary School. Mm -hmm. I was the school captain and CEO chairman of Tala High School where I did my A-levels. Right. I was a student leader and a CEO official in Kenyatta in University. Uh -huh. I mean, that has been my life. So, What uh, did you want to be when you were going through all this? When you were asked uh, as a young man, what do you want to be when you grow up, Ezekiel? What, what did you say? I actually needed, I, I, I knew I was cut to be a leader. Right. But uh, I, uh, like, the, the, as a mother says in a book, leader without a title, right. I, I was not quite sure what well, I would mm -hmm. become. Initially, I was meant to be uh, uh, in the provincial administration mm -hmm. uh, because my first posting was a DO in right. CIA. Right. Those days, that was a major feat, you know, mm -hmm. uh, if you're a D district officer. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to, the, 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 if you're a DO without your own district, or without your own division, it used to be difficult. You are like a junior officer. Right. Uh, so when I was posted to CI and I and to serve under DC and we were men of us, I didn't like it. And I was a journalist, so I used to write a lot and I liked freedom. I could not fit in the straight mm -hmm. jacket mm -hmm. uh, then because I wanted to explore myself uh, find out what my purpose is in life. But I knew I was cut for a leader because that's mm -hmm. how I grew up. Okay, let's talk about this moment. I was in time. once the, uh, the communications uh, coach, consultant. Right for President Uru Kenyatta when he was running in 2002. How was he as a coach? He's an amazing uh -huh. guy. Uh -huh. He's so funny. Right. You would think he's the one coaching. <laughs> and then the, the life, he's so full of life. Mm -hmm. He's so energetic and mm -hmm. funny. Right. He's a very good man. Right. Cool. Right. It's, 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 it's rare to get a person like Did that. Did he take all that you coached him on? Yes, yes. In we would tell, tell him to walk and talk like a president. Right. You know? uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. And, and you go is. to the field and see him deliver. Uh -huh. uh, so I did that in 2002. Wow. Yes. And here we are. What, uh, this this, this one, moment. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, those days. But you can see we were tough, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Even those days. Uh -huh. uh, uh, you can see the, even those days. That suit. Right. That suit was the suit of the day. <laughs> but now you know, I was a preacher, I was preaching in a crusade, but I don't worry, live and really... So this was you preaching? Yes. When I saw this photo, I thought it was a play, and no, that you were acting as a pastor. That's what I, I thought when I saw this the first time. I don't know. But uh -huh. there was quite a number of them. For, <laughs> but this looks like a Bible. It could have been acting, I don't know. <laughs> in Kitambo. But uh -huh. I, I used to act, by uh -huh. the way. Uh -huh. I used to act... I have operated a video library. I think all along, God was preparing me right, for this. For this. Because from childhood, I was involved in plays, in drama. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was in KU, when we were living, we, I was a main character mm -hmm. in the major play that we did when right. we were leaving university. Uh -huh. And, 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 and I, I lived in Githurai for many years, mm -hmm. Githurai 45. Right. And I made that name because of a video library. It was a classic uh -huh. communication. <laughs> so I had a video library, a telephone bureau, and uh, stuff like that. Okay. I've, I've come a long way. Let, let us flash forward to here. This was uh, in uh, where? Looks in pretty Kibos, recent, this one. Kibos. This was uh, last Saturday. This mm -hmm. was two, three days ago. We were playing. Uh, this is my, these are my colleagues. Uh -huh. These are my colleagues. That's the KFCB colors. Eh? Right. So we, we decided to, you know, to have some fun uh -huh. in Keboswa, a place called, this, uh, this hotel, this is a Siala Resort mm -hmm. at the junction of uh, Luanda and, uh, and uh, Kisumu, mm -hmm. somewhere at the junction. So we passed there and uh, look. Yeah, uh -huh. you see Azamina during Kekoso, mm -hmm. yeah, and my colleagues, these are my colleagues, That's, uh, this guy is our procurement uh, officer. What, what, boss, what type of boss do you think you are, Dr. I think a terrible one. Let, I, I'd rather my <laughs> colleagues are... <laughs> But I try, I right, try, I try, right. I try, but I hope my colleagues would say that, right? <laughs> I, 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 I would want them to analyze me, some uh -huh. of them are here. Right. Uh, so I try. Mm -hmm. When you get into the I, office... I believe, mm -hmm. I believe I'm not the boss, I'm, I'm the captain, that's what right. they call me. Uh -huh. captain. In fact, uh, KFCB is very special, mm -hmm. because when I got there, I don't know whether, because I've never seen people like those. Right. When I got there, it's like they were waiting for a leader. 
because they did a cake for me to welcome me to KFCB. And it was written, it was a football or uh -huh. design. Right. And it was written captain. And they welcomed so that's how me back stuck to KFCB. To you, the captain. So I was very amazed because a lot of them, almost uh, 99 point something, I never mm -hmm. met them before. Mm -hmm. And uh, here they are. Uh, a very enthusiastic team of young people, very brilliant uh, young men and women. Mm -hmm. uh, the average age of KFCB, by the way, is below 30. Wow. It's around 30. That's good. Most of these guys you're mm -hmm. seeing here, they're not 30. And yet. I've seen the team that you've worked in with, very yes, energetic, yes. very yeah. young. Your yeah, photographer, I like his uh, hairstyle Absolutely. as well. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he has a swag, yeah? Yes, oh, he yes. Has a swag, you know, he's called Eric Mora. Uh -huh. uh, I, mean, I mean, so that, that's the kind of uh, stuff that we have. A lot mm -hmm. of people think, oh, this thing is a cake because Motua, you know, mm -hmm. I see guys on social media. We are young. Uh -huh. And uh, even those of us who are advancing, mm -hmm. we are young at heart. And so <laughs> we connect. Right. We connect. But I have the me best and the most amazing uh, colleagues. Right. And at least because you've seen uh, you're a person who gets to enjoy himself. You're not too stuck up. What do you do to relax? When you're not working over the I weekend? I dance a lot. I dance myself. You're a dancer. Oh, I, I can just, uh, like now I was in Lagos uh, last uh, weekend, but one, mm -hmm. and I, 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 I could spend a whole from five, once I get into my room, I, I, I like either reading or listening to speeches, mm -hmm. but uh, there must be a session where uh -huh. I just dance myself. You go and you let loose. Oh, yes. I just <laughs> let loose and I enjoy myself. Uh -huh. And it, it, that, that's how I unwind. Right. Right? You know, that's how I like long, uh, my, my me moments mm -hmm. uh, where I can be able to reflect. I write down my dreams. Right. I look for songs and the speeches and okay. the preaching that speaks to... Uh, to, to the kind of vision that I have mm -hmm. and inspirational stuff. Okay. So I, let me say, listening to music, talking, mm -hmm. I make friends. I am a very outgoing person. By Indeed. The way. Extremely outgoing. Very true. And Indeed. I have friends. I make friends on the, at the drop of a hat. You know, because we just meet like this. And, and you we, have a conversation. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't take long. And, and the people think they know me. Even people don't know me. Think they I know meet you. people in the plane even, you know. I, I, I remember one time I was flying in uh, Zurich, from Zurich to, to Nice uh, last year. And I shared, uh, uh, you know, a mm -hmm. row with, the, with the, uh, I mean, a seat with, the, with a Canadian. And he thought he knew me. He you was know, so convinced that he has met me before. Dr. I made people think I'm Eddie Murphy. So I go to Cannes. Uh -huh. and, and they uh, think you're Eddie Murphy. Even the French embassy, yeah, they're like, oh, Eddie Murphy. And I'm like... <laughs> Yeah, the so, time we'll have to uh, just wind this one down. But even as we do it, we have 30 seconds to go. So, um, I love you, Nanya Rakisha. There's a time we'll good. never get to. No, no, no. And I actually want to speak about that. Because... Ah, to tapata. Ah, to tapata. Ah, to tapata. Ah, to tapata. When I'll be famous. Because I'm scared of my hand. I'm scared of my hand. About dreams. See, Nana, come here. Are you running for a political There's a time you look for me. No, no, no. And I will not have time. Because you'll be running for political Yeah, so, so take your time with me now that I'm available. Uh -huh. Yeah. So that rumor and is This true. message is not just for you. Uh -huh. It's for people out there who treat me like I don't matter. You know the day... <laughs> anyway, there's, a, there's no rumor. Uh -huh. Everyone... And I think we should encourage people to pursue their dreams. Right. Uh, there's nothing illegal about thinking big, right. dreaming big, and also planning ahead of time. Right. And sometimes what, what, what works uh, with pronouncing your dreams, mm. is that you get the right connections. Right. Sometimes they can be destructive because people mm. mark you out early and those who are, you know. Mm -hmm. But generally, speak your dreams, mm -hmm. speak your vision, right. articulate it, write it down, right. share with the people who matter. I think, uh, as you can see, right. I'm heading somewhere. Yes. I don't know where, right. but the steps of a Russia's man mm -hmm. are ordered by the Lord. We shall leave it at that. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you very and much. And we shall see when we move to that uh, next position. Utakua na nita. Uta kutafuta bada. Takua ngumu sasa chukua namba za wa njama. Aha. Where we are going now. I'll take Eric's number then. No, no, no. I'll be available. Thank you so much for your time. I'm a journalist, so I love this. Yes. Thank you so much for your time and sharing your story. And the timeless TBTs. Yeah. Yes. I mean, now we can see where you started from. Yeah. And more importantly, where you're going. You're bringing them. No, not for next time. Oh, oh that is. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. shall keep Absolutely. those ones in archive. Absolutely. But thank you for inviting me. Thank you so much, Dr. Tani. Oh, okay. And of course, uh, sharing his story from uh, where he started off. You've seen him there preaching in campus, and he's still uh, the man who's going to tell you, no, this is wrong, and he'll have no qualms about saying that this is his moral stance as far as anything is concerned. And he's championing the cause for creatives out there, Dr. Ezekiel Motoa, the CEO of KFCB, sharing his story, and more importantly, saying that the story isn't done yet. It's legal to dream, it's supposed to dream, and who knows where he'll be next. He said, Tutam Tafuta.